Hello and welcome, Ten here with another No Rest of a Wicked quest guide. Today we're going to be talking about how to unlock the Alchemist Marcos for your City of Sacrament. This quest can be a little bit annoying, not to mention downright dangerous, so if you end up struggling, do feel free to come back later when your character is stronger or after you've had a little bit more practice with the game. Before starting, you'll want to stock up on some extra food so that you don't run out midway through. First, head to the Serm Whisper in the Orban Glades. From there, head back towards Mariner's Keep, where you'll encounter a cliff face. But if you look carefully, there's going to be a ladder hidden on the cliff face. Descend the ladder, climbing all the way down, and enter the glowing blue cave. I promise it's not just a creepy, weird lair. It is, in fact, the lair of Marcos the Alchemist. You know, he's kind of creepy and weird, so yeah, I guess it is a creepy, weird lair. But after you enter the cave, speak to him to begin his quest. Watch where you're walking! Another traveler blind to the bounty under their feet. I am Marcos, artist of alchemy, purveyor of potions. If you're looking for some swill that'll turn your eyes yellow and your piss red, might I recommend a tavern? Then again, you carry the markings of the serum. Care to prove yourself a genuine article and earn the right to taste my elixirs? Inside this cave, there is a rare and potent flower, Iona's Bloom. Find the bloom, and if you are Serum, then I can make you the horse promise that you'll see God. Now from here, explore the cave dealing with enemies as you find them. Towards the right side of the cave, you'll find a path with a jump towards a vine-covered cliff. If you jump across, then mash your dodge button, you'll be able to cling to the vines and climb up. As you do, proceed up the ladder. From there, continue through, defeating enemies as you need, and use the vines to climb up yet another cliff face and reach for Serum Whisper. Once you get here, you're going to want to save, because this is where this quest gets really rough. Make your way down and touch the blossom. Congratulations, you're tripping so hard that you can literally walk on air. And this is where things get really difficult. With the trippy visuals, it's going to be a pretty tough time as you go through the next part of a puzzle. So use the little indentation in the cliff face to jump down safely, and then use air bridges to make your way to the right side of a cave, then climb up. As you proceed, defeat melee enemies, but be aware of ranged foes shooting you from a distance, as there's not very much you can do about these unless you have a ranged weapon equipped. Mostly they're just there to trip you up so that instead of making it across a jump, you second guess yourself and fall to your death, which is probably going to happen a few times. So try your best to run past and ignore them and proceed across the air bridges until you get to this point with the vines. You'll have to take a little bit of a leap of faith, then again, mash your dodge button to climb up like you did before. From there, this is the gauntlet section where you're going to go across several air bridges and it's basically going to be right in front of a firing squad of ranged enemies. There's two jumps that you'll have to make. The first one is relatively straightforward, and the second can be a little bit difficult to see. As long as you rush forward smoothly and don't hesitate, you should be fine. Now, after you complete the gauntlet, congratulations, you've made it to a slightly safe place where you can catch your breath, though you may get attacked by an enemy. If you do, then defeat them and come around the corner to the last set of jumping puzzles. This one's a little tough. Hang to the left with your jump and you'll be fine. I fell an embarrassing amount of times while recording this video, but you know, there's editing magic, so it never happened. And then from here, congratulations, you've made it to the end, your acid trip is now officially over. So all that you have to do is kick down the ladder and speak to Marcos, and you're done. Which is otherwise left unspoken and poisons anyone else who touches it. Perhaps you are worthy. Here, a token for your efforts and for your most amusing foolishness. <laughs> you say you came by way of sacrament. I hate the city, that stench, that scary. 
Maybe there are more people there deserving of my gifts. Yes, a decision. I shall enter its walls and offer my services. Uh, once I catch this damn beetle. Now, I can't guarantee he won't try to poison you again in the future, so you'll have to drink everything at your own risk. But hey, if you study those elixirs carefully, at least you'll be able to craft your own rather than trusting his dodgy concoctions. Between the trippy visuals and the fact that after you touch the flower, you're kind of just stuck in this cave until you die or figure it out, this can be a challenging quest. So make sure you're properly equipped, your gear's all been fully repaired, and don't worry too much if you die a few times. Just learn from your mistakes and try not to repeat them too much. Personally, I find blade oils to be particularly helpful in fighting bosses, and it definitely helps to be able to craft them myself rather than hoping that I get the right one to drop. So despite markers being a bit of a pain to unlock, it was well worth it for me personally. But that's it for the guide today. If you found this useful, then do be sure to get subscribed and leave a like while you're down there. Now, if you're looking for other No Rest of the Wicked quest guides, I did recently complete one on how to complete the innkeeper's husband and unlock Gordon the Chef. Link to that will be up in the card and down below. And of course, before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for making videos like this possible. For as low as $1 a month you can help out, link is up in the card and also down below. Also, a big thanks to everyone who watched till the end. I'm glad you found the video useful, and I hope to see you in the next one.